Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. My name is Tabby and I like to share simple decorating ideas here along with some DIY projects and a little bit about my journey as a mama. I have a one-year-old and a five-year-old, so Christmas magic is very much real here. You will find that my Christmas decor is traditional, cozy, and fun with bits of whimsy for a family-friendly vibe. With the world being as crazy as it is right now, finances are tight for everyone. I am a believer that you can use what you have, giving old items new life, and creating new exciting looks for your home without breaking your budget. Each year, I add a little bit to my Christmas decor stash as my style changes and develops, but most of what you see is from previous years. Sometimes we make a trip to Hobby Lobby and pick a piece of decor to place on the shelf just because it's cute and other times we decorate with purpose and intent and I want to share just a little bit of my thought process as I decorated this year for Christmas and I hope it helps bring more meaning to what you see today. So I'd like to think that my home is a good mix of what's trendy and what I love. I've discovered that it's not about what's on trend, it's about what makes you happy. And most of the time when I'm finally able to hop on board and buy what's trendy, it is come and gone and they are on to the next thing. As I scroll through social media lately, y'all, I cannot help but think that everything looks like a copy of one another and perfection is on display and it seems impossible to fit in or ever measure up. Can I just tell you today that you are enough? Your home is enough? Your efforts are enough? I have spoke those words over myself more times than I can count. God is proud of the home I am cultivating for my family. He sees my efforts as a stay-at-home mom and homemaker. My job is important and I am making a difference every single day and so are you. We're starting in the entryway that I've created and living room area. This dresser was a steal of a deal off Facebook Marketplace and I just touched up the black paint and added new hardware. And here on top, I added some height with this sleigh and greenery with this really vintage looking yarn, but it's not it's just from Home Goods from a couple of years ago. And on this black accent wall, I like to put my nativity scene. And I guess this is more of a neutral area in my home, but I did add a pop of red with the bow on the bell on the two sleds, just to add that color that I have throughout the house. This bottom shelf has some very special touches to it. This photo of my husband with some of his family and in this cloche are some vintage books given to me by my mom, along with some LED candles and two of Victor's grandpa's dominoes. His grandpa passed away when he was younger and he was very close to him, so I thought it would be sweet to display the dominoes that his grandpa played during the holidays. It was fitting to use the one with four since we are a family of four and also proudly display the Puerto Rico side of the domino. Christmas living room turned out. I love making my home feel magical for the holidays for my children, but also for me and my husband. It's a lot of fun to create a nostalgic feel and decorate in ways to help us feel like kids again during the Christmas season. If you missed any of my Decorate With Me videos, I'll link them below. I shared in a video how I created my mantle garland and I really love how full and beautiful it turned out. I like to incorporate some of the same elements that are in my mantle also in my tree. 
So I use eucalyptus and berries in both my mantle and tree. And on the mantle, I use the faux dried oranges. And in the tree, I use the faux popcorn garland. And those two things just help to provide the vintage nostalgic feel. I had to give Elfie and Biscuit a little cameo in this video and share with you what I like to do or what my elves like to do during this Christmas season. They leave a scripture every single day leading up to Jesus's birthday and they also leave a little something like a craft or a book or a tiny little toy and it's always exciting and and fun to look forward to for the kids but also it keeps Christ at the center which to me is the most important thing about Christmas. As you can see this is our family tree with homemade ornaments and things that hold special value to us and I just love how cozy this area turned out. kitchen and dining area turned out so well. It really feels like the North Pole's gingerbread bakery and that was exactly what I was going for.
taking one last look at this beautiful tree before we walk over to the boys' bathroom, the guest bathroom. It's right here off the living room and kitchen area. So I wanted it to be super cute for the holidays. And if you saw this decorate with me, you know that those two Christmas dinosaurs were the inspiration for this bathroom. My kids love it, I love it, and I hope you love it too. girly hold on to your britches because the kids rooms are full of color what am I even talking about if you are neutral girly you've probably already clicked out of this video these rooms are full of color and they are nowhere near minimal we like the boys to have fun rooms that fit their personalities and things they enjoy their rooms are still a work in progress Miles's room more than Max but they're slowly becoming the perfect spaces for our kids we just used leftover Christmas decor and their Christmas books and toys to add to their shelves this year. And this tree was our tree when we were dating. It's our Steelers tree, but now it's Maxon's. And he was pretty proud of this tree. He decorated it all by himself. I love the way Miles' shelf turned out. This little figurine set of baby Jesus and Mary and Joseph with the star. And then this leftover tree that I had, I just added some lights up top, way out of his reach next to his sound machine, and this felt tree. <laughs> this DIY felt tree that is hanging on for dear life, it got to be handed down to Miles this year, and I did update two ornaments with pictures of him and his big brother. I'm so glad that he gets to enjoy this tree now. This will be my last video for the year 2023 and I just want to say thanks for watching. Thank you to those who have been so encouraging in the comments since I started this channel a few months ago. I am in a busy season of my life. Being a mom who works from home is a lot of work and I hope that I'm able to squeeze in creating content too in the new year. It is so much fun to decorate and then share it with others. It kind of makes all the efforts I put into my home even more worth it. If you'd like to, I'd love if you'd subscribe and hit that notification bell so you won't miss when I upload a video. I hope you and your family have a very happy and blessed Christmas. I hope you enter into 2024 with renewed hope and a continued thankfulness. I pray for your peace your health, and your safety. May God provide for you all you need for the rest of this year and the years to come. See you next time.